Hello, my name is Frank Kane. I'm one of the creators of SkyMax Pro. This is a quick video just to walk you through some of the changes in SkyMax Pro 4.5 and how to get the most out of this new upgrade. SkyMax Pro 4.5 is a free upgrade for any SkyMax Pro 4 user, so start by heading over to the configuration screen for SkyMax Pro. Make sure that it says 4.5 and you have it all installed properly. If so, the first thing I want to direct your attention to is the new SkyMax Procedural Hosec Wilkie Skybox model here. That's a new option in the drop-down for the sky colors. And this is not a traditional sky color set. This is actually using our internal model of rendering the sky pixel by pixel based on where the sun is in the sky, what the time of day is, where you are, all that stuff. So it's actually using our own sky model. That's actually a very sophisticated one. It'll give you nice warm glows around the sun and give you more realistic sunrises and sunsets, for example. But even more importantly, it will make sure that our clouds blend properly with the sky behind them. And this is very important for realistic scenes. Since we're now using the same model to light the sky and the clouds, we can make sure that they match up better and it looks more natural in the distance as the clouds fade away into the sky. Now this also means that we're responsible for drawing the sun and the moon and the stars and the planets. So we're also using our own astronomical model, it's called an ephemeris model, to represent all those astronomical objects. Now if you look at X-Plane's menu for setting the simulated time and date, you'll notice that there's no year option. And that's because of limitations in X-Plane's current model internally. Now we have to make sure that how we represent the sun and the moon is consistent with how X-Plane is lighting its terrain and everything else around it. So we had to go and find the right year that we think it's modeling internally. And the closest match we could find was 2014. So SkyMax Pro 4.5 will always think it's the year 2014 when it comes to what the phase of the moon is and where the moon is in the sky and things like that. Laminar is aware of the issues with their own ephemeris model, so as soon as they fix those, we'll update our model to match it. Another thing to try out with SkyMax Pro 4.5, make sure that you have the HD Cloud Puffs option set for your overcast representation. There's a whole new representation of overcast clouds, and you'll find that HD Cloud Puffs are the most distinct and fast representation that we offer to date. So definitely give that option a try if you're not already set to that. I also want to call your attention to the crisp and soft options for the cumulus representation here for the cloud puffs. If you have turned those off, give them another try. John Spawn's made another pass at improving those textures and they look a lot better than they did before. So if you haven't had a look at soft and crisp cloud options yet, give them a shot. I think you'll find that they look really, really good now. Also, revisit the cloud draw area slider up here and you might want to try slamming that up to the right again. We've made some performance improvements, so if you had stutter problems before by increasing that slider too high, those stutters may very well be gone now. So give that another try and see if you can get away with higher draw areas than you used to before. Also, SkyMax Pro 4.5 extends the cloud draw area by 20% over what it was before, so even if you're at 40,000 feet, you'll still see clouds from horizon to horizon if you can max that slider out. Also, I want to remind people about the Real Weather Connector product. If you want to fly in real weather and be able to naturally transition from one set of conditions to another, you need Real Weather Connector to do that with SkyMax Pro. That's the only way to actually see complex weather systems around you, see them coming in from the distance, and fly into them just like you would naturally. So if you haven't had a chance to look at Real Weather Connector, have a look at it. I think you'll find that it's very much well worth the investment with SkyMax Pro 4.5. You can learn more about SkyMax Pro and Real Weather Connector at x-aviation.com in this link here. Go check it out if you'd like to learn more about our products. They are the exclusive seller of SkyMax Pro and Real Weather Connector. Thanks for listening and happy flying.